Hey everyone, Ammo here from Binding of Isaac Rebirth. A bit of a special episode today because I was doing a bunch of Lost runs, trying to get, do some success with the Lost, and I wasn't doing it live. I wasn't like recording it one run as a video because there's just like I just have a file of like like a five gig file of me just dying like hundreds of times as Lost and failing repeatedly. So I figured you know I'm just going, I just I just need to play casually. I don't have it recorded in case something happens. If not in school. That's what was, that was the philosophy I approached it as, and eventually it worked out. Because obviously every time I die, I get a little bit better. I'll just give you an idea what was going on. So here, I just already failed a bunch. I start again. And why? This, I just. You're the loss, so you have poor fire rate, poor damage. So everything is a nightmare to kill. And then I'll kill you on one hit, of course. So I'm desperately trying to clear out, clear out the room. And. Just, okay, come on, the spider dies. Get a chest, grab a couple keys, go into the next room, and then I like immediately get bit by a spider and die. Like, oh, well, sad. Hey, new start, start an item room, Crystal the Blind. Oh, I got Lazarus Rags. That means I have to kill myself. Lazarus Rags, if I get nine, it makes nine lives useless, and just I'm gonna end up as Lazarus. I'm just gonna die. I'm not gonna forget it. I'm just gonna, that's a bad item to have. It's a, no, don't do not pick up item as a loss. So I'd kill myself again. Start a new run. And we're immediately against Envy. For Pride? Did I say Envy? Pride? We're immediately... This is Envy, right? Alright, well anyway, we're immediately... Oh my gosh, well, I can't remember the name of this little mini-boss. We are immediately... Oh, I just me kill myself as Lazarus. Forgot the name of the boss, and now I'm... That's gonna... It's gonna irritate me. If I don't... If I don't go check it out. Envy, okay, that's right. So I'm against Envy. Not the hardest boss ever, even as lost. Although it's going to take much longer than it needs to because we don't have any any stats, so we're just pooping out our eyeballs until it dies. This is actually the second time I recorded the beginning of this episode, so hopefully I don't miss any. Because I there's a pop up, and evidently, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's strictly malware. I don't think it's spyware. I think it's from some bloatsware or something, you know. I just, they're all very similar things, but I think it's bloatware, which mean, obviously means it's a little less malicious than malware. I don't think it's any sort of virus I have, I just think. It's uh, a Dell, some unwanted Dell programs that were put into my operating system that I didn't necessarily want. But whatever, it's how computers work, I'll just have to take care of it later. Yeah, there we go, took out. Envy, no big deal. And it's important that we have Curse of the Maze here. I just teleported into this room unexpectedly. So, Alright, I have Curse of the Maze. We'll be doing, out some, be doing some teleporting around. All goons here, pretty easy enemies. Even as lost. Should be fine. Go to the item room to see what we get. And I teleport into the secret room from Curse of the Maze. I didn't even know you could do that. This is like the first time I can remember this ever happening. And I'm in the secret room next to the curse room. So I figure I'll bomb my way into the curse room with the bombs I got from the secret room. And then there's nine lives right there. So at this point, I'm in a huge, I'm in a mild panic. So like, if these spiders kill me after this godsend, after this massive amount of luck, I'm just gonna be the saddest person ever. We killed spiders, got nine lives, and we are set to go. So we go into the big room. It's a couple of formation flies, and these little gun diglets, who aren't that hard. You know, they're not that hard, but they can totally just shoot you. <laughs> and sometimes the bullets come at you pretty quickly. I'm just trying not to get shot. I don't get shot, of course, because I don't lose any lives. I could... I do now have the luxury of having nine lives. The massive luxury for Lost is one of the, like, top three items you want is a Lost. I have nine lives, so you don't instantly die. If you make a small mistake, take a hit, you just respawn inside the room, you get a second chance, and so then third chance, so, you know, all the way up to nine chances. But I have to conserve them. I can't just throw them away stupidly. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of lives real fast, and then it's going to be like I never had in the first place. It's going to fail, and I'm going to be upset about it. I need to be cautious here. Each life is precious. And a to clear the room without losing any lives. Scared there because these stupid little spike bricks tend to hit me. They hit me a lot. And here I end up with pen uh, Sagittarius for penetrating shots and a speed up. Fantastic. I love penetrating shots and also like speed up. So we got two really good items. Well, two. We got one fantastic, like, top three required items and nine lives. And we got a really good uh, Sagittarius. Pretty good. And there is a tinted rock that I want to grab. Because, of course, I'm looking for the small rock for damage upgrade, mostly. Or maybe just some keys. Now it's Spirit Hearts. Disappointment. So we just leave. 
Also looking for uh, 15 cents to get the stopwatch. Stopwatch slows all enemies and makes the thing just insanely just so much easier. Because the enemies move slow, they can't charge, the bullets fall short and move slowly. Um, so powerful having having stopwatch. We're trying to build up to 15 cents to purchase the stopwatch. If it shows up in the shop, of course. We can't make it show up. But make sure we're going to go to the shops. Try to get 15 cents and go to every shop to maximize the chances that we do get stopwatch. Good, so powerful. It's very, very high up in the in the list of items you want as the lost. Almost here to the bottom. We got one of these generous item rooms, which as the lost you can fly. Very nice. Pick up a little bit more money, a couple bombs. I'm gonna be doing a lot of like stopping in this run. I'll explain that in a moment. Here, Larry J. Oh, Larry J's a choke, so you have penetrating shots. So we're just annihilating him. He doesn't even know what's going on. Poor Larry J. I almost feel bad. He does get close to biting us, like at least once during this, though. Make it a little, little zealous, get a little close. I already took out one of one of the J's, and now, and now he's dead. He's he's gone. But I'm gonna do. I do a lot of stopping. I guess I didn't even. I guess I didn't really get that close to getting bit. But anyway. And then I go on to shoot all the Larry J poops. I'm not exactly sure why. It was very late. I shouldn't add why I did this run. It was very late. But I do a lot of stopping because I'm just a casual run. I'm not even streaming this. It's very late, so I'm not even streaming it. I'm just I'm just doing it casually, having it. I know it's being recorded in the background, but also not just footage. So I'll probably. I mean, I could. I'll just die mess up and just it'll be one of the big files that just me failing. So I'm not keep, keeping that pressure off. Just doing this casually. So I do a lot of stopping to like if I want to stop an itch or stop to I don't gather my thoughts or stop to check something or stop to psych myself up, whatever. I do I'm not I don't go to my I don't go my usual pace at all during this. So heads up, if, was, if I take I don't think I took any large breaks, so I do all skip ahead, because this is just obviously me, uh, media player we're doing the file in. I don't remember there being any large breaks, so if there is one I forgot about, we'll just skip it. Because we can do that, we have the power. Otherwise, there are several times we stop. I gotta stop, make sure, make sure I scratch an itch. So, because I'm fully focused on what I'm trying, I'm trying to get this done. Fully focused on it. So I have like a small itch on my hand. I'm like, okay, gotta stop. It's taking away, it's taking away some of my attention, harming my focus, my ability to play through is the loss here. But you can't get touched at all, even though I do have nine lives. So, so the, ah, so good, so good. It's like it's a. For regular play, it's not really that good because you have health. So, respawning nine lives, you respawn to a room. I mean, you couldn't do it the first try. You probably can't do it afterwards with your nine lives, extra lives. And it takes you down to one heart, which is a pretty hefty price to pay unless you're already low on health. But, Lost doesn't have that problem. Lost has no health and never has health. So, then getting an extra lives is just an objective upgrade. And as here, I get Lucky Poop. Petrify poop, not lucky poop. But now we can get some extra money off poops. Mostly money, I mean, you get other stuff. Mostly money off the poops. And gets us up to our. past our 15 cent mark. Purchase the stopwatch. Also, I've got a metric, we got CC long legs. I like CC long legs. Spawn spiders that run to enemies, do damage. It's that simple. No stopwatch in here, unfortunately. So I buy a replacement key. Move on. I like to see long legs. She's pretty, I mean, she makes spiders, and spiders do pretty good damage. And she otherwise stays out of your hair. I like her. It's like having passive flies. But I've heard, I've heard the difference between flies and spiders. Spiders do a little bit more damage. But of course, the flies are able to fly. Spiders can't fly, so they can't quite go over like ledges or obstacles. Otherwise, now that's just what I've heard. I never looked that up because I wasn't. I've, I've never been bothered enough to verify that or not. Because if it's True, cool. If it's not true, I mean, I don't. The flies and spiders are autonomous, so I can't, I can't do anything with that information, whether it's true or not. Anyway, so never bother to look up if that's actually how it works. Makes sense. I don't know. I mean, that sounds like a video game kind of thing. That, that sounds like something I'm real. I don't know if it's true or not, but whatever. Some poops. Um, be careful. I don't want to die by poops. I don't want to die in an embarrassing fashion. Get the bomb. So hard. Can't get, of course. Yeah, this is the time I'm stopping. Make sure we got everything. Psych myself up for the boss. Even if it's only a second boss, and I have nine lives and piercing shots and sissy long legs. Should totally be fine. Except, guess what? It's double monstro with two mulligans, which is just 
nonsense <laughs> boss room for the second floor is the lost. And unfortunately one of the monster shots hit me, they got me cornered. So down one life, we're at eight lives now. They're gonna take out the mul mulligans to get them out of the way. I put the bomb down to shoot it into them, but can't shoot them with penetrating shots, so that was just a waste of a bomb. Mulligan's down, there's this fly that I need to take care of, because it's a threat with the shots, okay. Now fly's gone, now it's just double red monstro. It's way less of a threat than double red monstro with friends, because yeah, they're dead. Decent bomb, some penetrating shots, they're dead. Get a speed upgrade. Hope it's not Krampus, and it's not, because it's... Death, Death Touch, Death Scythe, Death Touch, and Guppy's Tail. And I pick up Missing Page 2 just because it's there and already took the other stuff. So then we got a damage upgrade. You already had penetrating shots, but now it's a damage upgrade. And I believe the little scythes are a little, you know, a little wider than the tiers. And we also have Guppy's Tail to spawn a bunch of chests for us, even though many of them will be locked gold chests. I then run into this room, I go, oh no, I'm going to lose a life here. Double champions with Red Flame, I'm going to get shot by the Red Flame. Focus down the red flame a little bit. I do that a lot, same with the, as we're going to see later in this run, like every run I do, the eternal flies. Spook the eternal flies, because I'm going to, those are distracting, also a threat, they're a dis very distracting threat. That would be very, very embarrassing to die to, so I tend to focus those, and they're easy to get rid of, so I tend to focus those out of the way, and then take care of the enemies once I get a chance. So you see like this room has these flies that I do not want to touch, I don't want to get close to. Take out the spiders. Work on the poop, kind of blow the TNT, but it's not cooperating. We don't have a very good fire rate here. Took out some of the poop. And I'm like, alright, yeah, there we go. Took out the poop. Kill a fly. I don't need to worry about it anymore. I don't need to worry about these little small obstacles that I could die from, really shouldn't, but really don't want to take the risk at all. Now we're just going through. There's obviously a tinted rock there. I could try to manipulate an enemy into blowing up the tinted rock. Nah, I'm not going to take that chance. It's lost, so we're just going to. We're gonna blow it up with a regular bomb. Hope we get small rock. If we don't, don't even get anything good. We just get spirit hearts. We're normally great, but of course, lost game. I don't know what you, you can pick up the spirit hearts. I don't know where they go. They just disappear into the ether. I hate this room because those triple that first the first shot from these guys. So the rooms of these triple shoot these like blind triple shooting wall spider things. The first shot because they all shoot simultaneously. It's a nightmare. I go in here because I have the moon card. And guess what? We get Guppy's collar as well as Guppy's tail. So now we are Guppy. I teleport out, of course, I don't die. So now we are Guppy with potentially extra lives. I can hit with a bone there. That's annoying. So we're down to seven lives. I think down seven lives. But yeah, that was very was sad. Sad day for me. I immediately forgot. Oh my god. I'm watching this again. I want to keep track of how many lives I had already. I've already forgotten how many lives we had. I think we're down to seven. We're just going to go with seven. We have that 50%. Now we have a 50% chance of getting another life. It's Guppy color. Guppy's color. Is your 50% chance of a revival when you're out of lives. So it's a little, little bit more potential buffer. We got mom's eye. Occasionally shoot out of the back of her head. Not really a big deal. But we're Guppy. Most importantly, we're Guppy. We shoot flies. Now we generate flies when we hit enemies. And then they fly at enemies and do tons of damage. And that is fantastic. So we're super happy about that. Guppy also allows you to fly. But we already had flying. It's not a big deal. Pick up Broken Ock for a second and put it back, because if I... I think you revive as... you revive as Blue Baby, which is disastrous, so I definitely do not want that. That would that would be awful. So we put that back. We have the spiders from Sissy Long Legs, we have a ton of flies, and the flies, it's every time you hit an enemy, you have penetrating shots. So if we shoot a shot like that, it penetrates multiple enemies, you get tons of flies out of it. And here, no stopwatch once again, but I do buy there's options. That way when the boss drops items, they drop two items, I can choose one. It'll help us avoid dead upgrades, like health upgrades, as a, as a loss, because you know, health upgrades obviously don't do anything. So, being guppy with penetrating, with like this death touch, we're very strong right now. Super happy about it. I do not want to get shot by that fire. Guppy's tail throwing us some chests. I have an extra key. I have some extra bombs. I want to blow up the donation box to try to get this Pandora's box. And I changed my mind, and I was on my thinking about that. It's something I want to do if I have the money for it. So I go off looking for some more money. So I get Pandora's box, that could be an item. Or it could be something helpful. It could also just be like an HP upgrade, or it could be something not useful at all. There's nothing in that room. I go back thinking, am I forgetting something? I think, pretty sure I wanted to go back to that mob trap room. And I forget. I don't remember if I go back or not. I forgot I can go in there. 
because I wanted to Pandora's box. I don't think I go. Or no, do I stop? Do I remember it now? Come on, me. Come on, tired late night me. What are you doing? Did I stop for a break? Am I taking? No. Uh, oh. Okay. This is kind of it's kind of surreal watching this again. <laughs> Wait, like, what am I doing and why am I doing some of these things? So I decided, yeah, I, I remember to go back to the mob trap room and grab that chest. Try to get the money because this is the I can't take any chances losing. I'm sincerely trying to make some progress here. Even if I'm burning time, burning, I don't want to say daylight, burning out moonlight. Going backwards like this, I've got to try for it. And of course we just get matchstick, which is not a useful trinket for us, so I just leave it there. Petrify poop should give us money in the long run, versus the bombs from matchstick. And alright, well now I go face the boss. I'm comfortable facing the boss, we have at least seven lives left. Plus Guppy's collar, potential more lives. And we are Guppy, with penetrating shots, ton of flies, and decent damage. So Polycephalus here, it always flies, Polycephalus doesn't stay in chance. And he goes down super easily. And then I got there's options to avoid HP upgrades, and we end up with two HP upgrades anyway. Took lunch, specifically because I don't like the visual effect of heart. You have like the pulsating heart on your chin, it grosses me out, I don't like it. That's the only reason why I took the lunch over. That's the reason why I took lunch over less than three. The heart item. Saving my key for the shop or the item room. If I get more keys after that, then I'll gladly open the chests. Until then, we're just going through with our flies and penetrating shots, being super happy. But also careful, because in my mind, I'm like, this is a fantastic run. Let's not let's not squander this. We have good offensive power, being guppy with the uh, death touch. And also, we have extra lives. The only thing I could really make it better is stopwatch. Which is why we're blowing everything up. Try to get some more money. And keys are great too, especially with Guppy's tail. You would want more keys. Here it goes. Greed heads. But yeah, Guppy's. Being Guppy is helping us so much right now. It's absurd. Love Guppy. And so much luck, because what we had a. Uh, two curse. The curse rooms, yeah, because curse room. The first curse room gave us nine lives, the second curse room we were able to get in gave us Guppy's collar. And in between that, we had a guppy item in a deal with the devil, which isn't really that big. I mean, really isn't really that rare. If you get a deal common, you get deals with the devil as the lost. And deals with the devil commonly have guppy items. So really, I mean, those are secret, those are curse rooms that really, really helped us out. We got Harlequin Baby joining the squad. That's just some extra damage, some extra shots, not a big deal. Pop up in a chest, get a replacement key. Harlequin Baby is a strong item, but it's it's here. It's here to help. Every little bit helps. It's not it's not directly harmful, which is important. There's a lot of items that are just harmful for lost. Like saw me pick up Lazarus rags and then instantly kill myself earlier. There's one of the items that are potentially harmful. Because like in this run, imagine go back in time, we have a run like this, but the first time I pick up those Lazarus rags and I decide to keep going. Suddenly I'm super duper strong, but if I die, I come back as Lazarus instead of lost, so now all of a sudden all my progress is mute because it's not going to be recorded as the lost at victory, it's going to be recorded as a Lazarus victory. Which is, just makes it useless. See there, like I said, I like to focus down the hazardous poops. The hazardous fires. Even though there, the only enemy left was one little fart in the opposite corner of the room. I don't care, I want to take out that poop. So we have enough money, but still no... Sigh, still no stopwatch. There's a 9 volt here for quicker space for item charges, but we have no space for item charges. I consider buying the red candle. Like, nah, we have, uh, yeah, penetrating shots of flies, so I don't really need the red candle, we're not going to be using it that much. But I leave it there, and continue on my merry way. Picking up some more money and bombs, Guppy's tail's doing us wonders, honestly. Guppy's, yeah, we actually got, like, three, probably the three best Guppy items could have asked for. Obviously, nine lives, and Guppy's, uh, collar are great for the extra lives. But then Guppy's, uh, tail's helping us more than it should anyway, because we just got Cricket's head out on the chest, so that's a huge damage upgrade. Teratoma with uh, penetrating shots, no problem at all. Not just penetrating shots, like giant high damage spinning scythe penetrating shots. Fantastic. See, we're very offensive, we have a lot of offensive power right now. And pick up Tammy's head, like Tammy's head! Fantastic! I love Tammy's head! One of my favorite items now in the game, mostly because it's so versatile. Like, it's not necessarily good, but there's so many combinations, so many things that affect the way it behaves, 
that can make it either super OP or just like a regular item or even not very good at all. Just because that that it's a very dynamic item. That's make it that's made it one of my favorite items in the game. I go back and buy a nine volt because I have Tammy's head. So that changes Tammy's head from a run, one room charge to a time charge. So if a room goes on long enough, Tammy's head will get recharge itself within the same room. We go on to fight our boss. Tammy's head just like destroys the one. There one's a little bit out of range. Goes down easily enough. Pick up Jesus' juice for a touch more damage thanks to theirs options. Head on down next level. To so see Tammy said it shoots uh shoots projectiles in all directions for a little bit more damage than what your standard what your little base damage is. And we have high damage penetrating little size. So it covers a big area. They're extra big because extra damage. And we bought the nine volts so we can do that multiple times per room if needed. This room this room scares me because these things are terrifying because I just run up and Tammy's head them. And we can use Tammy's head every room, so I should Tammy's head every single room. I think I forget or just neglect to do so some rooms. Like this one, I could just run up there to Tammy's head. The poop's gonna uh, eat a lot of the shots, so I don't bother. Yeah, this wasn't a tough room anyway. I would love to do more curse rooms, because they've been doing wonderful things for us, but we don't have a way to teleport, so I just leave that. And there I got shot. Tammy's head. Could not see the bolt coming in. I get shot. I'm really irritated about that. We killed everything even. I died after the room was clear. That was very frustrating. So I think, alright, that was a fluke, I got shot, like, right when I got in the room, because I couldn't see the bullet, that's a fluke, going after again. No, no need to stress too much about it, I'm down to like, what, six lives now? I think, I might be a little bit off, but, I'm playing, I'm playing as if I don't have extra lives, which is what you should be doing, otherwise you're going to be making mistakes and you're going to squander your lives. Making it slow, they're all dead, we open up the chest, Guppy Stale here, helping me get more chests, which gives me a chance to get more items, such as... Uh, Cricket Set, which is a very good damage upgrade. And also, Tammy Set spawns all the flies for us, so then we get a huge hive of flies with us, which then also do tons of damage. There, same thing happened. And then we shot when I got into the room, I couldn't see the shot, and then I got killed once again. So now I'm thinking, alright, I need to go down to like five lives. I'm like, okay, I need, to, I need to pay attention. I need to be extra careful. I do have tons of power here, but all it takes is one little shot getting through and killing you. So I just need to be extra attentive to when I walk to the room. If there are enemies that shoot, I need to be moving, I need to take evasive action. I need to just assume they shot whether they really have or not, so that I can avoid losing a life. That's what I'm thinking now, I gotta, I gotta, gotta be on top of this, this is ridiculous. No need to be losing two lives in this, in this way. I'm blowing up these skulls looking for either a tarot card that gives me a way to teleport out of the curse room, or... Uh, item like Dry Baby or Spectral Baby. Just extra items, extra damage. Dry Baby blocks shots. I almost get lasered there. I almost didn't move out of that guy's way. And here we got triple Headless Horseman, but we have so much power. Take them out pretty easily. We have a lot. We're very strong right now. Just combination of Death Touch, being Guppy, and then throwing Tammy's head and a handful of damage upgrades. We are we're doing very well. Still gotta be careful around these stupid masks, so the masks are me. Here I got lots of bombs, so we're gonna be using them to look for some tarot cards and items. Two of hearts is obviously quite useless, so take the magician. That one's potentially more useful. It's not really very good, but I mean could potentially help. Imagine like Tammy's head with the magician and all the bullets home in on enemy, I don't know. I'm trying to Trying to justify it. And unfortunately, we didn't get. We didn't get yeah, got Empress. I'll take that for more damage. But fortunately, we did not get any teleportation cards or any items. We got a few more chances with these skulls around. If I choose to bomb them, I might not always bomb the signal skulls. Just might want to save my bombs for the. Save my bombs for the groups of skulls. I used the world card here just to check it out, and that reminds me secret rooms are a thing that I've been ignoring. Because I've been focused on just not dying and making it through as lost. I haven't really been thinking about secret rooms. I've been trying to maintain focus, but I got pretty, you know, get, after getting nine lives, getting penetrating shots, getting some more damage, I got pretty, pretty excited. Was, despite my efforts to remain stoic and focus in order to complete the game as efficiently as possible, uh, it totally affected me at night. 
I did not do. <laughs> I'm not doing a good job doing everything I should be doing. But we were still able to one shot the adversary team in his head, and we got more damage from growth hormones. Go check out Satan Ass Offer. Satan gives us Headless Baby and Horror Babylon. Horror Babylon gives you more, uh, more damage, a little damage transformation when you're low on health, and you're lost. But you're always low on health, so you give you more damage now. Get those cute little horns now. That's another fantastic pickup. We're getting very lucky, which has been a huge part of Lost Runs. It's just I'm not, like, I'm not good enough for Lost Runs to be at all, even slightly independent of luck. I save the very specifically save that fortune telling machine in case I want to put some money into it, maybe get a new trinket or get some tarot cards. So I save it there. I don't spend the money in it yet because I want to go to the shop. That happened again. Shot the fly. Bolt flew up. Killed me. Ah, I don't have four lives now because I kept getting shot as I go in these rooms. Need to not do that. Of course, I'm blind. It's gonna be very dangerous. And of infamy, which is a good item, can block shots. A curse of the blind can. I mean, we can end up with a combo breaking item. Or pick up Lazarus Rags again, or Judas's Shadow, or there's a lot of dangerous items we could pick up. So I really should be careful with Curse of the Blind. Yeah, there again, the champion exploded in a bullet that time. That wasn't even an enemy that shoots bullets. It was a champion. The champion happened to shoot bullets, and it killed me. I was so irritated by that. I was so mad. So upset. We're down to like four lives now. I hesitate because of Crystal Blind, but I know we just got that from a just got that from a rock, so it's a small rock. So I take some chances of items. We get up with notch decks, obviously terrible space for items. But a bag lets you destroy rocks. Not very useful. But like small rock gives an extra damage upgrade, so we're shooting pretty we're shooting pretty large sites, particularly with Tammy's head. Bomb and money. We're on depth I'm checking depths too. Wanna give this guy a wide berth. Someone trolled me once upon like once upon a time when I first started doing Lost Rooms. They were like, yeah, you can totally do Blood Banks and Demon Beggars or whatever that takes your health, because it's not really going to take your health, it'll be fine. And they trolled me because obviously, I mean, they do. They kill you. If you try to donate to a Blood Bank, you'll die. You take, it counts as damage and you die. It's it's not like trading away heart containers like the deal with the devil. I bought what I could from the, from the shop. There's a blind, couldn't see what it was. There were two items. He's a chance one is a stopwatch, one is the broken watch. Of course it's not as good, it's still alright, but it's not nearly as good. Because it doesn't work all the time, and sometimes it actually speeds up enemies. We also found baggy of pills. So now everything is pills, so no no more teleportation uh, tarot cards for me. I can get telepills, possibly, still, but not no more uh no more teleporting tarot cards for me. Go back, still want to play that that fortune machine for I fight mom. Maybe get a better trinket. Or get or give tarot cards for those who are now pills, so or pills. Almost get shot there. Remember, like watch out for the red flies, they're gonna shoot you. Using I can see forever to get the secret rooms to or once again remind myself secret rooms are a thing that I should be looking for. I haven't gotten nearly as many as I should have, but yeah I've gotten some. Probably not as many as more than I deserve, because I haven't really been looking for it. I'm just been getting lucky. Did I forget the fortune machine? Oh no, do I have to turn around and go get it again? What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh oh. Yeah, I think I think now I remember. Do I remember now? Or am I considering bombing these skulls? Yeah, okay, I'm remembering to go back to the fortune telling machine. Yeah, like I said, I uh, got most of the run secret rooms are a thing. Luckily, I had a few handful of reminders, so I have more secret rooms than I deserve. Come on, fortune telling machine. Come, give me something good that's not unfortunate. No, just give me fortunes. I have to blow it up. Sorry, fortune telling machine. I don't even want to mess with blood banks. I don't want to get too close to the blood bank. Accidentally, like, donate my life and, and die. And we're just not gonna, not gonna mess with it. We're just gonna leave it there. I'm not even gonna bomb it. I'm gonna get close enough to try to bomb it. We're just leaving it. Side bomb skulls. Get nothing. Leaving. Really hoping for dry baby. This dry baby can block shots and then it also kills things for damage. Loving for dry baby. Also not messing with the demon baby, demon beggar. Also we're really fast, that's great. So mom pops down, do a ton of damage to her with our massive Tammy's head. Finish off with a couple more shots, she's dead. I'm like alright, let's we'll just pick one of them up if I get the Polaroid. So I have Polaroids on the left, the negatives on the right. And I just pick the 
Polaroid, so I'm like, let's go with the slightly easier route, or what's considered a slightly easier route. I think, I, in, in this run, I probably ended up, could be able to take on Satan and the Lamp. Dark Room's pretty scary. You know, it's baby steps. It's one step at a time. We're going to start with the chest, with going to the cathedral and the chest over uh, going to, going to, what's it called? Sh Sheol and the Dark Room. One step at a time, so that's where we're heading. Now there's no more. We're in the womb, we're in Nidro, there's no more shops or. No more shops or item rooms. I'm still picking up money in case we get something like money equals power. Just want to still get money. Almost got shot by the champion. Would have been super annoying. Bob's brain, obviously not nearly as good as Tammy's head, so I just change him out real quick. See you on Tammy's head, because as you can see, Tammy's head is. Clearing every room we go into. These huge size that we're shooting at. So, yeah, walk in, Tammy's dead, everything dies. That's what we want to keep going. And then if they don't die, we have a horde of flies to finish them off. That's our, that's our strategy right now. Exclusively a strategy. That's our exclusive strategy, I should say, not exclusively my strategy. Because that's not at all. I mean, lots of people do that. <laughs> if you get a strong Tammy's head, that's obviously what you do. It's like. That's the obvious strategy. The obvious good strategy. I still want a way to teleport out of curse rooms because curse rooms have been so kind to us. Fortunately, we no longer have a way to do that. And we don't seem to have telepills anywhere. At least we haven't found telepills. We don't have more tarot cards to turn all the pills on accident. So we are unlikely we'd be going through any more any more curse rooms. The laser eyes are scary. It's not too hard for you to miss a step and then they shoot you. And you're lost, so you just die. Here, I'm thinking I should Tammy's head to kill it. I should kill it anyway. Does it really matter? No, not really. Here, on Tammy's head, destroy pin. And yep, there we go. Pretty much what I wanted to happen. Tammy's head instead of shooting, because we can Tammy's head. Check that, if there's anything we need. I'm like, nah. You know, Christmas would be cool, but there's not anything I can do. Let's kill Skullvex. Shooting Skullvex, because it's one weakness. I really should have just Tammy's head to some right away. Tammy's head recharges. So over time, we have a 9 volt. So, show up Tammy's head right away so we can start recharging so we can maybe use it again, but whatever, it's fine. Doing tons of damage, Skullex is a very threatening guy. And Queen Fly, Spiders, and our damage, we kill him. Get Blood Cot, so some more damage upgrade. Run to another Satan room. This one's not nearly as exciting as others have been. We end up with Sister Maggie, not very good. And I'm really deciding to want Fear Shot. Good fearing enemies mess us up. That's either that, whatever, we'll take it. So we got Fear Shot and Sister Maggie, not exactly the best deal with the Devil Room ever, but could have been worse. We yeah, at least got something out of it. Could have been a dead deal with the Devil Room. That was a hilarious, because the big, scared, slowed Larry J, and we have penetrating shots. That was the most one sided fight I've ever seen. So even we, have, we have even more damage now, so our sides are even bigger. We hit that space bar. Pap, I'm surprised I didn't kill Dingle right away, but that's what it flies for. I think his poop protected him a little bit. Again, would like to go to the curse rooms, but simply cannot. Don't wait to teleport out. And huge horde of flies. Tammy's headshots, venturing shots. Yeah, huge horde of flies. This room was scary. Go on, there's that hand. Am I like, okay? The second hand, the third hand. Is that nope, no, the fourth hand. And then oh, there's actually four. Wow, there's actually just four hands. So when I played this, it really felt. Like maybe I miscounted, maybe just because of the panicky because I don't want to die or whatever, but it really felt like it was like five hands going on. Like there's a fifth uh, mom's hand I didn't expect. They're by our way into the library and check it out. Book of Secrets. Well, that's not very exciting. Bible lets us insta kill mom, but we're already strong enough to do that. Jump is not very good because you can fly, but relation is not very good because we can't survive anyway. So I pick up Book of Secrets to use it, just take a quick read. And then, of course, take go with Tammy's head because it's super strong. I don't think there's any book we would actually could have found in there that would replace Tammy's head anyway. But no harm checking out. We got a book of secrets. We get a map effect. Open up the case. Is it? No, it's not too framey. That's a little framey in the recording. I don't know why it's suddenly getting framey. Might be my computer's hard drive is starting to get filled up. I've do some spring cleaning, so to speak, on it. Run to a reroll room. Don't even, nope, don't even care. I'm just leaving that there. I don't even want to 
just, we're just putting that back. Pretty sure five isn't five, you roll a four. So technically I could have done that, but I'm gonna take zero chance that so like, I f misremember what the, what the reroll room does, and I end up rerolling my good run. Like, I don't even want to take a chance, so we're just leaving it there. I just <laughs> I didn't even want to bother with it. Here we get some not so great kills. Kills, not so great pills. That bomb's our key. Which with a, uh, um, not unhappy with the bombs are key because we have Tammy's tail. Tammy's tail, we have Guppy's tail. I'm checking that for something. Don't know what. And we insta kill mom's heart. Just, that's just so fun. It's so great. Tammy's head, all our damage, insta kill mom's heart. Now I'm like, alright, well, we're strong enough to kill mom's heart. Like, we're pretty set. Immediately kill three. The three hort or uh, headless horsemen, three headless horsemen heads. Kill Loki pretty fast, even though we only Tammy said it's the kills most things, and whatever whatever Tammy said does get are flies and shots can take care of. So at this point, obviously, like one shotting, being able to one shot mom's hurt after that, I'm like, okay, we're pretty much set. We got this. We're able to one shot everything. I take I can see forever. Just eat the pill. Look at some secret rooms, there it goes. One shot our friend Death with his own weapon. Get some money, which I pick up because again, if I get something like one equals power, get a little bit more damage out of it. Got the bomb left behind, and we one shot Monstro. Yeah, there we go. We're strong enough to one shot Monstro too. We're we know we're just doing well. I pick up Monkey Paw. When you die, it like respawns you with a heart. No, it's if you die, if you go down low health, I don't know, something to do with getting hit or going low health or dying, and it respawns you with evil hearts for a like normal run. I don't think it works with the Lost, but just in case it does, I'm picking it up and taking it with me. Don't think it works out. I don't think that's what happens. Will you? I get it. I get it. I get this team. Go away. There we are. Moving on again. We Oh, this is going to be fun. Bap! Kill them all with Tammy's head. Thanks, Tammy's head. The bomb disappear. And just hearts. That's not that's not useful to me. One shot monster two again. We're going, we're picking up the pace super fast. Thanks to our damage to Tammy's head, we're able to clear out clear every room pretty quickly. And Guppy's Guppy's tail. Actually, you're likely to get chest dropped in Cathedral anyway, but so Guppy's tail still a thing we have. And it was a thing that helped us get a couple of extra items. That scared the, scared me a lot. I ran into the rock as I Tammy's Tammy's head. So all the sides just went to the rock and speared. So that's what happened there. I was really surprised and scared when I first when I first happened. I was like, oh god, what, did I break the game? What happened? Nah, I just I just hit the rock. Check the map, see if we need anything. No, we don't. So I just go to Isaac. And I don't want to shot Isaac, he's like half half alive. I'm like, alright, this is a, if I'm gonna die, it might be here. I mean, on the, at the boss room. And Isaac putting up a valiant effort, but boom, he, he dies. Don't know what hit him. It was a shot or a fly or what, but he's dead. And we killed Isaac. I'm super excited at this point because that was progress. Got Isaac's heart. Has appeared. Yes, go me. Now here are chests crystal blind. So open all the chests. I can't see what they are. Uh, I'm not feeling confident enough to leave them behind. So I pick them up and hope it's something that breaks our combo. End up with more damage, more damage, and more damage. So we just got like all the damage items. We're shooting massive shots, and we have Tammy's head. So we just cover the entire screen and dust. Touch. I don't want to touch anything. We have so much damage. We have this. Like this is it. this is this is the overpowered winning combo right here. We have way too much damage with Tammy's head with uh, Death's hand. We cover the entire screen in penetrating high damage shots, and I'm I'm not. Not gonna mess with that. I'm not gonna mess with that combo. I'm not gonna take any chance that that changes. Uh, unfortunately, a large room is not quite enough to cover a large room, so I have to go find death the good old-fashioned way. It's hard to see. So I'm shooting these massive, massive spinning desticles. And there you go, Tammy's head. Just them off again. I I just, I just don't pick anything up. I'm not going to pick anything up. Double adversary. One of the hardest rooms in the game. Instantly, instantly cleared. Mega Ma, instantly clear. Everything's gonna be instantly cleared. Spoiler alert! Like, I don't think we can't not kill it. Kill double Mega Cage or double Cage. 
and don't want to pick anything up. Don't want to accidentally pick up like a pickaxe and blow myself up and then never, never, never do it. And we instantly kill Blue Baby with our Tammy's head, overpowered, high damage, proptosis, all the crazy combos, and we win. And I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. I just sit here and I just watch the credits roll, and we end up, we end up with our couple unlocks. So that that was our. A finally a successful lost run it just took forever but we did it we did it so happy I was so happy I just, I just put my arms up in victory I just sat there I was super stoked about it so thanks for watching this is the end and then I get my unlocks where's my unlocks? come on where's my unlocks skip the credits of course yeah the body finally locked the body and I've achieved a dead boy so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this uh I go, I go check it out, make sure it's still there, make sure it really happened. So thanks for watching, this is uh, Binding of Isaac Rebirth, and finally, we had some success with the Lost. Leave a like, enjoy the video, subscribe for more, follow me, Twitch, Twitter, and all that, you guys know the deal. And I'll see you next time.